guys, now we, we are going to check what will happen to the egg when we bounce it from a high place. I think this is enough. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it poked. Oh, you can <laughs> see the egg. You can see. Bunky Bunk Vlog. It has been a while since my last science experiment. This time, I um I am going to demonstrate another easy science experiment, which I'm sure parents, adults, and even kids like me will love it. I am going to call this experiment the bouncy egg. So, for the materials, we would be needing vinegar, a, um, a raw egg, and a cup. So, for the procedures, we need to put the raw egg in the cup. Then, we will open the vinegar, then soak the egg with vinegar. Okay, we're soaking it. So it should be fully covered yes. with vinegar, the egg. It should yes. be fully covered with the vinegar. So how long are we going to wait? So guys, we will need to wait for 24 hours and see what will happen to the egg. As we can see, after we soak the egg with vinegar, it, it won't bubbles all throughout the egg. This is because when the egg, which contains calcium carbonate and vinegar combined, a chemical reaction takes place and carbon di dioxide, also known as gas, is released. Yeah. yeah. So, see? Bubbles are popping out all throughout the egg. And let us see tomorrow, after soaking yes. it for 24 for hours, hours, what would be the result or what would be the end product of this experiment. Yes. So, guys, we cannot wait to see what will happen yes. to the egg. So, let us see if it's really a bouncy egg yes. after all. Let's see if it really works. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so, guys... Finally, we are finished soaking the egg. Now, let us see the, the, the final outcome of okay. our bouncy egg experiment. Ooh, we're excited. So, I just have a basin yes. here to rinse the egg. <coughs> you can see the egg is very big. Wow. Well. <laughs> okay, we're going so to rinse So, this it. is now the egg. Some of its um, skin or shell has been already removed by the vinegar. We're going to just remove it more for it. And so we are just going to rinse it and remove the remaining eggshells. Yes. Actually, the eggshell is so soft now and you can no longer feel it. So it's literally the calcium carbonate powder. So as we, as we have learned that the eggshell is composed of calcium, calcium carbonate. carbonate. <coughs> Which is being dissolved by, by the, the vinegar. vinegar. And the vinegar is also known as the acetic acid. acid. So here it is. Ooh, I kind of like it because, you know, it's... Oh. I am more careful now because last time I accidentally <laughs> broke it. You can see it's more yellow, which is amazing. So this is how it looks yeah. like without its shell. Okay, a few more to go. And I hope we don't break the egg. <laughs> yeah. Okay, more clean. You can 
this is like more dark yellow at the bottom. I think that's the yolk. It's the orange one. So as we can see, this is now the final oh. result. Wait. Wait. Why? <laughs> wow. Okay. Does few more eggshells um stuck? Yeah. So here it is. Finally. Wow. Ta da So <laughs> So guys, now we are done removing the remaining eggshells of the egg which we soak in the vinegar. So, what you can say? And okay. Yes, and we have two general observations. The first observation is that its um, shell became soft. soft. And our second observation is that it became larger and bouncy. bouncy. So larger, so in terms of size. So as we can see, if we are going to compare from the raw fresh egg which we haven't soaked and the egg that we soaked, so it's almost doubled in size. So bouncy. So we will try if it's really bouncy as per our um, experiment's title. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it indeed. is. It is indeed bouncy. So it is bouncing. See? So what are the science explanations behind these observations? Why does the eggshell become soft? This is because of the chemical reaction that started um, to occur immediately after we soaked the egg. The eggshell was dissolved by the vinegar and became gas as we see, um, seen all around the egg. Yes, so from the moment we soaked the egg until the days it was uh, soaked in the vinegar, so we've continuously observed bubble formation all throughout so why does the egg become larger and bouncy so what is the explanation behind this it is mainly because of osmosis yeah so what is osmosis osmosis is the movement of water or solvent 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 uh, um, molecules through a semi permeable membrane from a place of high water or sol solvent, solvent concentration to low water or solvent concentration, concentration until both sides are equalized. equalized. Yes. So, uh, the environment wherein there is high solvent concentration is the outside of the egg, which is the vinegar. The vinegar. And the area or the place with a low um, solvent concentration the is the inside of the egg. So the tendency is the vinegar will go inside yes. the egg which makes the egg size larger and bouncy. So guys, uh, we hope that you enjoyed Enjoy watching this. our science experiment this time. And... Um, Surely you can easily do it at the Guys, now we, we are going to check what will happen to the egg when we bounce it from a high place. I think this is enough. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it poked. Oh, you can <laughs> see the egg? 